up guys my name is electricity wave and today we're gonna do apex legends tier list this time we're gonna do ranking all the guns in the game last time we did the legends this time we're gonna do the guns let's get right into it so first off we have the triple take um this is pretty much like a damage farmer type of gun i'm gonna throw this in the if i have to it's definitely not gonna be in my loadout but you know it definitely what i'm gonna say before i start this list is every gun does have its purpose in apex so you know some people might say oh this gun's absolute garbage well you know it depends on the situation some guns really thrive in you know specific situations some guns are a lot more versatile than other guns, so it might make more sense to run more often. So I get that, right? You're going to run, you know, a certain gun over the other one because the one gun can work with short range and mid range or mid range and long range or maybe all three. So that's just what I wanted to say about the guns in Apex. They do all serve a purpose in certain situations and with, you know, the right skill. Uh, next is the flat line. This is tough, man, because we have godly good usable if I have to and rather use fists. I'm going to say it's good. Um, If there was a gray, I'd probably put it in the gray, uh, but we'll put it in good. It's not, I mean, it's godly in certain aspects, right? It's godly because you can use it for, you know, in the long range with the, um, the, the, uh, <laughs> Man, what's it called? The, uh... You'd think a guy would know. Played over a thousand hours of this game. The fucking gold attachment thing. But you know what I mean? It's nice to have that. I can't believe I can't think of that. But, uh, yeah. The flatline's great in uh, close range. It does have a shit ton of recoil. But it's a definitely a solid gun. Uh, next we have the hemlock. For me, I'm gonna do... It, it's probably good, but, uh, usable. You know? It's... If, if there was a great... It, I think I'd still put it... You know? I'd put it in good. But it would be just under the flatline. Maybe we'll add one. Let's add a row. And then we can move this up, move this up, and maybe move that up. We'll keep it triple take if I have to. Next, we have the G7. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I mean, this gun could be really, really good. We don't have the double tap anymore, so, you know, that kind of sucks. Um, if you're a god at aiming, you know, long distance, um, the G7 could be just super crucial for ranked games, for farming your damage to level up your shield um but early game i'd rather use my fist than a g7 but i'm gonna say if i have to you know what i mean it's gonna be hard for me to put rather use fists over any of these guns like i said it depends on the situation if we're talking like drop like hot drop loot g7 i'd rather use fists over a g7 uh next we have the 301 it, this is my favorite brown loot gun in the game it is godly basically no recoil it's very very minimal and if you aim train you know like i do you notice recoil less and less because you're kind of you kind of train yourself to just you know as you play a game longer too you kind of train yourself to just adjust to recoil right so like a lot of the time now i don't even really notice recoil unless it's really bad like on a on a flat line or devotion but the 301 is the most versatile gun in the game uh, it's good short range it's good mid range it, it can be good long range love the 301 uh, it's almost always in my ranked loadout if i have the opportunity to find it next we have the mozambique i honestly when we everyone first plays the game they think the mozambique is garbo but the hammer points this gun can be great but it's tough because you don't always you don't pick up mozambique you know fully kitted like you don't pick up these guns fully kitted but we're going to their full potential i'll still say it's good because it is a situational type gun let's say you have an r9 or a 301 or a volt with it you're gonna want to break or crack their shield and then you pull out the mozambique before they can heal so it is very situational but in the right situation you one or two shot people uh, with the hammer point and it, it's awesome it's awesome to have next we have the mastiff now this gun was the meta for so long everyone used it and but me i fucking hated it i hated this gun because when i run a shotgun in a game i expect to do damage up close hence it being a shotgun but with the mastiff you get 13s even if you line it up perfectly you still get some 13s i don't care if anyone says i get goddamn 13s and i don't know if it's the input lag their connection my connect the game the server or what it is but i swear sometimes i hit them dead center in the chest and i get a 13 a number that i shouldn't even see you know what I mean? You shoot someone in the chest, you should be seeing like a 70 or 80. So with the massive, 
I'm gonna say it's usable. You know, obviously it, a lot of people are gonna say godly, but I don't even really like running this gun. I honestly prefer the EVA over it because at least the EVA, the, the spread is somewhat consistent. You do get those sevens with the EVA, but you know, the firing rate's faster and it's just, I don't know. The EVA is just a lot more fun of a gun to use for me. Um, Next we have the charge rifle. Oh man, this is a uh, charge rifle is really good if you're trying to hold position on somebody. It's a really annoying ass gun. I mean, in, in like a close to close combat type you know fight i'm not gonna want to use the charge rifle i'd rather use my fist but i'll still put is if i have to you know if i have to I, I will run the charge rifle it's like i said it's good for building up your evo damage if you're hitting that that final charge um shot on someone or if you um you know you're really trying to hold a position like in height um so th those are the different you know situations next up we have the r99 now this might be one of the most fun guns in the game but also one of the most overrated guns in the game because it's so flashy it's so fast and you can like shred and one clip people right it's great for clips but is it actually that efficient it's a very high risk high reward gun um i'm gonna say the r9 is i'm gonna say it's good it's kind of like an ego weapon type of thing it's just or like it's it's like a type of weapon where you just like you're feeling really beastly and you're running in pubs i get it and you know and sometimes in in ranked it's nice because you can use a gun like that for short range but it's very limited uh, a lot of recoil well for long distance but it's very fun you know uh next up we have the p2020 great gun with the hammer points just like the the mozambique i would say uh it's probably if i have to but the potential definitely is there. I'm going to move Mozambique to usable. It's funny that they're in the same. I'll probably move Mastiff up to good. I think this is the Sentinel. The way they crop these is what is going on? And then there's another. Oh, that's a G7. Looks like almost looks like the 301. The Sentinel is fun. Very, uh, you know, underrated gun. You know, it sucks to have to carry around, you know, the extra cells if you want to charge it and then you have to hit your shots. You know what I mean? Um, but the Sentinel is a fun gun to use. It's more of a pub type of uh, gun for me, but I would still put it's usable. You know what I mean? I like it. It sucks that you have to do the reload animation after every shot, but it's a fun gun. You know what I mean? It's like a bull action type sniper. I guess usable, or if I have to, it depends on what you're talking about, right? This list is kind of like more towards like a rank. You know what I mean? Next up, we have the Eva shotgun. I'm going to put this at uh good. I'll put it above the hemlock. It's tough though. Like all of these could be like slightly changed. You know what I mean? Um, and everyone has their own preferences. It's your play style. It's the legend you're playing, positioning health inventory you know this how much ammo you want to carry with each gun what kind of guns you want to do you want to like play really aggressive with your team like there's so many different things final circle like there's so many it's a battle royale so literally you know i'm just trying to go off of like you know the most basic principle is if i think this gun's good or not you know what i mean but a lot of these could be changed based on your positioning and, and the situation next up we have the alternator one of the most underrated guns in the game very very solid gun i'm gonna put it probably probably gonna put it just under the the hemlock um the alternator does really good damage it's one of those guns that doesn't feel like it's doing a lot of damage because there's a lot of recoil the sound of it is kind of like very shaky and rattly it does really well and it, and it has solid range i think the alternator is a really good gun and if i bet you it's something as simple as just changing you know the sound of the gun it might make it seem better isn't that weird how like audio can have such a big impact on a gun that's why the r99 i think is so fun too because you hear it like the bullets just rip into somebody he's like <laughs> crazy uh next up we have the hemlock or no the the havoc sorry um the havoc is gonna be i mean if it's kitted it could be a good gun obviously with the turbocharger it can be really really good but it's still gonna be a good gun for me um somewhere along the lines of here i probably could even put it in usable because i don't really use the the havoc uh that often and it has so much recoil if you don't have the turbocharger you're gonna be literally starting you're gonna be holding down right trigger for on controller or holding down left click to start your shot and by the time the first bullet comes out the game's over you know what i mean so it takes way too goddamn long for the for the havoc to shoot and that's what pisses me off about that gun next up we have the prowler the prowler is i would say great um it is a drop weapon you know and it's like drop weapons are always buffed so like they're almost by default godly so i could put it in godly just because you have the burst option which i usually just use automatic the burst is really nice prowler's a great gun it'd be nice to get the prowler back in the ground loot you know what i mean and then put something else like the devotion back in there because the prowler was a fun weapon to run around next up we have the re45 the re45 is a super underrated gun i'm gonna put usable 
uh just under the mozambique and the sentinel the re45 is great does great damage up close it's a great weapon to you know land on early game it's definitely usable it's not ideal but it's definitely usable end game would i want to be running re45 probably not but it's usable i would say more so than these i might put the the charge rifle maybe above these it's so tough man next up we have the l star l star is definitely an underrated gun as well um super good you know it has the crazy like flash going on when you're shooting at somebody very overwhelming it's powerful it's loud it's fast if someone's shooting at you with the l star you're like what the what am i supposed to do right now am i supposed to all f4 and leave the game like uninstall like what's going on in my screen you know what i mean most people are just like startled by it it's almost like a flash grenade and a gun had a baby i probably would still i'd put usable but it's definitely not a gun that I would run in my loadout late game. Uh, maybe early game, you know, it's one of those guns you find. You're like, oh, this is nice. You know, it's nice that I have it. Next up, we have the wingman. This is a love and hate relationship with many Apex players. This gun stresses me out, man. Because there's a super, super, super high skill, you know, skill ceiling. Super high skill ceiling for the wingman. Then you have absolute dog water players like me using this gun right when you have those days where you hit your shots you feel like an absolute god you feel like you're asu running down on the map no one can stop you you got a wingman you two tap somebody you got the skull piercer on it ggs my guy right but then you have those days where you don't even know if there's a bullet coming out of the fucking gun man you might as well be using a, a goddamn nerf gun to be shooting at somebody because your bullets ain't doing shit and then when someone's running forget it forget it your bullets are, you got the bullet curve the bullet drop it's like, dude, I'm trying to, I'm playing, am I playing in the Matrix right now? Like, what's going on with my, what is this gun? It, it's so weird, you know? And then you have, like, if you shoot the wingman, your, you, your character throws their shoulder out from the recoil, and you gotta recenter that? Are you kidding me? What kind of evil, twisted-minded people and devs had to think of a gun like this, man? Just downright fucking disgusting but i still pick it up and i still die but with the wingman it really depends on your on your comfort with this gun for pc it's a lot more difficult to use this gun i feel like because you have to be so steady and i don't know i feel like if i played on controller on this i would really enjoy the wingman a lot more but then again you know i guess i don't fully know They're, they put two wingmans on this so i don't i don't know maybe they just messed up uh, next up we have the Kraber. It, this is the daddy of the guns. The Kraber feels so good. It's like that the same feeling as uh in Fortnite when they had the, the heavy sniper. This gun makes you feel literally invincible. And it's so fun to snipe with this gun. Some people hate it because they're just not a fan of sniping in Apex, which I get because you know it's a super fast-paced game. You have abilities, but I love the Kraber, man. Nothing gets me more excited than hitting you know a bunch of shots with the craver i have yet to get my first collab but you know i've definitely had those games where you just hitting every shot with it and it feels amazing you know just knocking a whole squad um just going on a rampage with the craver I, I love that gun godly for sure spitfire in season eight it's the meta i am not a big fan of the spitfire i mean it has so many bullets i don't know man i i guess it's godly by default but yeah you know what I mean? I don't know. It is what it is. I, I'm going to put it in gray. I'm just not a... F I don't know. I don't really use the Spitfire. Next up, we have the Devotion. Devotion is a great gun. If it's fully kitted, it's it's a worse... It's more intimidating than the Spitfire. I'm going to put this, the, the Devotion in gray as well. And we have the uh, Longbow, which is definitely... Uh, it's a good gun. I'm going to put it in usable. I don't really run the Longbow too much, but it, it could definitely be a good gun. If you have it's underrated i feel like because it shoots you know it's a semi-automatic sniper you can still get great damage on the head as a headshot you can put the skull piercer attachment on it the anvil receiver is what it was called for the 301 that i couldn't think of like 15 minutes ago yet the, the uh fuck, man what's it called the uh that is what i was trying to think of and i'm glad it came to mind the anvil receiver i could not think of that for the life of me but yeah i'll, I'll throw the uh the longbow and usable or good i'll throw it in good it deserves to be in good uh and finally we have the pk the peacekeeper the best shotgun in the game it's the most fun to use you can charge it up you know um it has great range this is definitely going to be godly for me and then obviously they gave two wingmans i don't know why um but i'll put it in rather use fist because sometimes i rather you sometimes i literally drop my wingman and i'll go punch someone um and fight them because i know i'm not gonna hit a wingman shot but that wraps it up. This is my Apex gun tier list. This is ranking all the guns in Apex. Um, we went from godly to great to good to usable. If I have to, 
rather use fists. Uh, my name is Electricity Way. If you guys ever want to hang out in a stream, you know what to do. You know, important links and, and Twitch and stuff is in my uh, link in description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think, um, what guns you're really liking this season in season eight or season nine if you see it you know in a future season still let me know uh, this we might do a future list for every season if it if it changes you know they have constant updates and patches but thank you guys so much for watching thank you to all the subscribers it means a lot when you subscribe to the channel um i'm gonna keep this content coming i uh, just gotta keep thinking of ideas and that's a long ass outro so i'll see you guys in the next video peace